uh, what I'm doing here, um, I'm going to take off my, my big three upgrade and all my power runs and grounds so I can put it all in the sub. Um, so basically that's about it. alternator power off and then I have the just the factory battery connections now uh, so now all I really got to do is pull the wire through the car um, but it is tucked under these panels and I do have a lot of zip ties I need to cut so let's get right to it
and that's what we'll start pulling the wire through right there. And I believe it's all ready to pull, pull through. We can take this out. This was the piece that was for our alternator to their battery. Um, yep, and then this is all from this is all from the amp right here. This is my three runs of zero, right there. So we could get this one through. But first, let's take this cover off, unbolt these two, so we can pull those through. All right, so now we can get the head and uh, start pulling this zero gauge through this factory grommet. Um, I already went ahead and took this panel off. It's sitting right over there in the seat, uh, just so that way it'd be easier for us to kind of see what we're doing here. And I can be able to pull the wire through easier. So I'm gonna get to cutting these. And uh, I was trying to do this as clean as possible, but, you know, fitting all this wire and, like, stock panel is just kind of, it's kind of tough. And the panel don't want to stay down. So, for the sob, uh, I'm either going to run it underneath the car or just, like, through it. Because I don't really care if people see my wire. It's not, like, a huge deal to me. Uh, cause usually I try to do my wiring as clean as I can, so I'm not too worried about if people can see my wire inside the car. Um, so what I'm doing now, I'm just pulling this wire through. I mean, it's pretty tough, cause this was through like a factory grommet. But, there it goes. There's one through. See the lug. This one's about through. I can feel it. That one's through. And uh, they're all through. 
Looks like a bunch of snakes down there. Um, get most of these. So now we can start pulling it through uh, the rest of this panel. As you can see, it kind of goes to the back seat there. So we almost have all the wiring out, which this is going along a lot faster than I thought it would. So it's pretty sweet because then we can get to working on putting it all back in in the sob. So. <sighs> Okay. Alright, I'll come back at you guys once I get this uh, other panel off on the inside and then start pulling it the rest of the way through. Alright, so, I know this is a little messy, but it's okay. I'm, I'm just working on getting the wire out. Um, this piece will come up a little bit and then I can pull the wire through. So, this is kind of, we're getting close to the end here. one's about all the way through and uh, just in case if you guys are curious this is all uh, sky high wire it's just the the one on uh, zero gauge but yeah I need to do, if you can see that it's not the best it, I really do need heat shrink so that'll probably be the next thing I do pretty good stuff uh, the only thing I don't like about this wire um, is uh, it's CCA and I I really need to get OFC I'd like to get two watt though OFC the by sky high um, there's the other run and then I believe there should, yep, there's one more Okay, and this one should be able to pull the rest of the way through now. There we go. Okay. Oh, actually, this all needs to go underneath this. Take you guys off here so you can see what I'm doing next. All right, so now what I need to do, and I know this is really long. Uh, this was like all really just temporary. Uh, these all need to be cut right here. So let's do that real quick. I got like twenty dollars in zip ties here. So now all this wire is free. So now what we need to do, we need to fold this seat back or fold it down. Um, actually, we probably don't even have to do that. I'm sure we we could probably just pull that wire through. I don't know if it's oh yeah it is, and it's all zipped tied back here too. So let's let's cut that off. Okay. 
Okay, that one's cut. I haven't, I haven't had any base for a while. I'm kind of having some base withdrawals is why I'm trying to bust through this. Okay, let me fold down uh, that seat real quick. So I, I think I got like one more zip tie I need to cut. There we go. There it is, right down there. Right there. Okay, I believe that is all of them. Then there's a ground for the resistance audio amp right there. So we can get that. Oh, and then the ground for the amp for 2K is right there. So we gotta take those off too. Okay. Alright, so I'll come back at you guys well, once I get those grounds off and get all the wire ripped out. Um, and then I could give you like a little inside view of the sob to kind of see what I'm working with there. Because I know it doesn't really look much bigger than the than the Malibu, but I assure you that it's, I probably got twice as much room there, so I'm pretty excited about that. But, all right, I'll get this done real quick. both the amps uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking why do I have zero gain zero gauge uh, ran to a like 600 watt um, door speaker amp well I didn't have any four gauge and I was just using what I had so I had like a lot of extra zero gauge laying around uh, so that's just what I used oh and another thing uh, when I was taking my ground out this this like wasn't crimped good enough. As you can see, it wasn't really crimped good at all. And it ended up sliding off the end of the wire. Um, if anyone knows where to get like a good hydraulic crimper, like comment below. Cause I just, I just want something that's just gonna get the job done. I don't need anything that's like top of the line. Cause I, I'm still in high school. So I don't want anything that's gonna like totally break the bank. But yeah, I can't be having this happen. Cause I mean, it was on the ground, but I just don't want like, I don't want anything like, bad to happen or like, my luck catch on fire. So, anyways, um, yeah, like like I said, if anyone knows where to get those, like, real cheap, that's, like, decent quality, too. Like, I don't want them to get, like, junk. Um, but, yeah, just, just, like, comment below. That'd be awesome. So. And uh, I also do need to take the dash apart to get my, like, base knob out, um, like, my RCAs and stuff like that. So... I'll come at you guys my pie later down the road with another video of me um, taking that out. But it probably won't be as long as this one. But I'll come back at you guys once I get these uh, speaker wires unhooked. And then I can give you like a quick review of the sob. Alright, so just real quick. Uh, I got both of the amps all unhooked. Um, all the wires like out. All I gotta do is just physically take it out. Um, but I told you I'd give you guys like a kind of look on the inside of the sob of like how much room and work with uh these back seats will be taken out right here and then i have that whole hatch area which that's just a cover back there so that'll that'll come off um 
but I've I've done some quick measurements. Uh, in this space, I was able to get like, and, I've, and this is like after displacement. Um, it was like right around 15 to it was like 14 to 16 cubes. So that's a hell of a lot better than getting like 10 after displacement in the Malibu. So I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like about this is the sunroof um just because like any base head knows that's kind of like a weak point um but yeah so hopefully here soon i can start running the wire in this and like get a new head unit and I, I have a new head unit i just get it i just need to get a dash kit so hopefully we can get it playing within i don't know hopefully soon because i'm just I'm having like some serious bass withdrawals. It's kind of it's kind of rough. So, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated on whenever I do any more. Uh, I don't know work to the Malibu or to the Saab, uh, just to like kind of let you guys know where I'm at. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Oh, and like I said, um, if you guys know where any good like hydraulic crimpers are at, that's relatively cheap just comment below and let me know like any help would be appreciated so thank you guys